click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see an allied welding process which is called as brazing. Unlike soldering and braze welding, it is also done in the form of welding but which is not as your conventional welding process. So let's see what is brazing. So what happens in brazing is your actual element which is used for brazing, yes, is your brazing gun should be always nearer to the object to be brazed. Secondly, what you have to do, you have to clean the surface properly, clean the surface of the object so that brazing can be done. There should not be any dirt or contamination on the surface. Thirdly, what happens is Brazing works on capillary action to draw the filler metal on the joint or keep the joint in the proper place. So how it is done for just wetting the object we will see in our next slide. So in this diagram you can see there is an object, a pipe shaped object. Nearly brazing are generally carried out at a pipe shaped object. A brazing gun is used, heat is eliminated from the brazing gun in a form of gas and brazing is done. So these are the four things which are required. Firstly, you need heat in the form of gas. Then you need a filler element. You also need flux. So these are some basic elements which are required while doing brazing. So a very essential factor which is required for brazing any of the object is clean and polished surface. The surface which is to be braced, whether it would be a pipe, it would be a normal plane surface, any surface, it should be clean as well as polished. You can see the two diagram. The first diagram is of a clean surface and the second diagram is of a polished surface. In this diagram, you can see there is a filler rod. Generally for brazing, you use a filler rod which is flux coated. The flux is already coated on the filler rod. So it can be easily used. Also, your rod should also be clean. In brazing, cleanliness is a major factor for doing your exact joining process. So this is flux. It is available in all the three forms like paste, powder or liquid. So according to the requirement, the flux can be used in your brazing process. So it can be coated, it can be sprayed, whatever, whatever form you use it exactly. Now the next factor is heat. Sufficient heat is required for brazing. If heat is less, your brazing cannot be done properly. And the amount of heat required, like the decision of giving the heat supply depends on your metal. Like if say the metal is thick, heating is more. If the metal is thin, heating is less. So depending on your metal size or your metal thickness, heating can be given. So according to brazing rules, heating depends on the material. Also controlled heating is required. So if excess heating is provided, the joint may fail or it can become dirty. So for keeping the flux in proper position, keeping the metal properly welded, heating is an important factor. So control heating is required so that you can use your flux properly, you can join the metal properly. Also, the joint may not break before it is supposed to break. So in brief, I will tell you all the brazing processes, like the steps which you are following for brazing is, firstly, you have to take your material to be braced, two or three materials together, as we have seen in our diagram. Then your brazing gun is used. It has some heat source. Heat is coming, but before that, your surface to be blazed has to be cleaned. So the brazing surface gives proper heat to your surface to be braced. Then what happens is another filler element or your filler metal is added, which is flux coated or at times additional flux can be added in the form of powder, liquid, paste, etc. So in this way, your exact brazing action takes place. So after the brazing, we are leaving the metal to get solidified. The braze weld exactly should be solidified and the whole process is completed. So in this diagram, you can see there are two parts. One is your joining process. Second is exactly preferred joining process, how brazing should be done. So you can see if a lap joint is used, the surfaces should be in a bent way. If a butt joint is used, the surface should be in an angular way. In a similar way, the other two joints are explained in brazing process. 
Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and do subscribe our channel Ikira.